Okay, welcome back. Okay, in this lesson we're going to set the image planes up. So let's go to Open Scene and let's open our Gun Model 01 that we set up earlier. Right, let's create a plane. Go to Inputs, go down to Subdivision Width 1 and Subdivision Height 1. Let's scale this to 12, actually 24, and on the Z, scale that to 24 as well. Okay, now I just want to rotate on the Y axis at 90 degrees, and I want to translate it back negative 12 on the z-axis that puts it into a nice position go to rendering and then go to Lambert shader and then select the checker by the color tab which will bring out our create nodes go to file select the template tiff open that up and close. Nothing's appeared because I need my shading to be set to smooth shade all and then I need to hardware render it. And there we go. There's our image up. Now back in this I'm going to go to by the way just make sure all of these are set to smooth shade and hardware so that you can see them all see the images clearly so I want to go to the front view now and I'm just going to set my model my uh, plane in a sort of central position so I'm going to sort of put it by the bottom of the trigger handle and bring it down so that the gun area there just check this Needs to come up a little bit there, down a little bit. Okay, that's about that's about okay. Okay, so we've got that there, that there. That's all good. Right, go back into perspective now. And we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna call it template. Template save that. Now in here select that and do a control D for duplication and now we're going to revol revolve it around the Y axis at 90 degrees and we know that it's in the in the right line as the other one. I'm going to go to the side view now and we're going to put this so the barrel of the gun is in the center and then it will line up with our side view which is here this is our front view by the way on this image plane while it's selected let me just come back out uh, we're also going to translate it back to negative 12 on the x-axis just to get it in a nice position there there we go. Um, I'm going to click this and where it says shapes I'm going to call this front temp hit return and I'm going to call this oh, shapes I'm going to call this side temp and in the top part there I'm going to call it side and in here I'm going to call it front. Okay, so we set up two of the axes, two of the planes. Now we need to set up the top plane. So I get this and again I rotate it this way 90, oh, zero degrees because we want it in a flat. Oh, didn't do a duplication. Need 
to duplicate it first. So control D to duplicate. Set that to there. On the Y axis, I'm going to translate it down to negative 12 so everything's kind of the same. Top, go to the top view now. Make sure that I've got smooth shade all and hardware texturing is on. I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to bring it down so the barrel is, so the top view is in the middle. Well, that's not bad actually. That's pretty good. Okay, so we need to set up the um, left hand side of the gun now. So that all matches. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to duplicate, I'm going to bring it over here, rotate it around the y axis. 180 and I'm going to translate that back to 12 on the Z axis so that's it so now all our image planes are set up, ready to go. We've got our front view, we've got our top view, we've got our side view, and we've got our other side view as well. Actually, we needed to use this part of the gun, but we'll get to that later. Okay, right, so now I want you to select all of these, and I want you to right-hand click on the layer and add selected. Then I want you to make it into R mode, with reference mode. That way we won't be able to accidentally click anything. And that is basically our image plane all set up, ready to start our modelling. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to be commonly used and just show you a demo of how they work so you get an idea of, of how they work before we start modelling the gun out. Okay, see you in the next lesson. And save this out, by the way. Oh, and also, you might want to click all these and just hit the clear history turn it back into reference mode and save it. Okay.